Hello and welcome. My name is Paul from TrackMaps and this video will show you how to create a NOAA custom chart, otherwise known as an NCC, uh, on their website as well as um, how to get a chart like that printed. First things first, what is an NCC? It's a custom chart that you can choose uh, the area of, you can choose the scale, uh, the dimensions, and NOAA's system will uh, create that chart for you. It'll generate it and export it as a PDF. So first things first is uh, you need to go on the uh, NOAA uh, custom chart website which is uh, in the description below. Once you're on that site you'll see that there are a few tabs uh, on the top left. So you'll see there's um, if you if you need any help they have that. Uh, next they have layer settings, chart settings, export functions and feedback. The first thing to do is to click on layer settings and here you have a few um, options uh, if you do want to enable specific intended uses you can do that here. Uh, by default we keep it on uh, all data sets. Uh, next is the chart settings so if you'd like to to name the chart something you can do that here. So I'll put Paul's custom chart. Next I can choose the scale. By default it's uh, 1 over 25,000 but you can change that here if you like. Uh, next up is the page size so you can choose anything from letter which is 8.5 by 11 up to uh, 36 by 56 uh, inches printed on a plotter. For today's example I'll just choose letter which is uh, the smallest one they have and I'll choose um, portrait but you can also choose landscape if you prefer. Uh, finally we have the units by default it's in feet but you can always choose meters or fathoms if you prefer. So now I'll actually create a new chart so I'll click on that button here and we'll go and choose an area that we're interested in making a chart of. So I'll choose let's say this area here and I'll click just in the middle here it doesn't really matter where you click because you can always move it and I'll show you how to do that so if I'd like to move the chart I can click on move chart here it'll turn the box green and then I can move it anywhere I want once I'm happy with the extent and the area we'll click on export functions and here you have a few options. Um, so you can create a catalog, a chart catalog. Uh, if you have multiple charts, you can basically create all these charts and add it to your catalog and you'll have access um, uh, anywhere you are. Uh, what's important is if you do use that chart catalog, make sure to export the, uh, the catalog uh, so that you can actually use it um, perhaps on another PC or uh, if it's months down the line you'll actually ha be able to continue using it. Uh, for today though we're only going to be creating one chart so I'll click on the chart we just um, created and we'll click on export selected charts. So this has started the process of uh, generating the PDF uh, which it will then give us access to uh, momentarily. Once the chart is exported I'll click on open and here we have the chart so it's eight and a half by 11 as uh, selected and then the next pages are simply notes uh, left by Noah in case you need to uh, refer to them. So I'll go ahead and save this um, in my downloads folder. I'll copy the file name and you'll see why in a bit. So as uh, I mentioned earlier at the beginning of the video, uh, if you do want to uh, take this chart on your phone, you can can do so. Uh, it's a PDF so you'll be able to view it on your phone or tablet uh, when you're out on the water. Uh, but if you're looking to get this chart printed, uh, this is a service that we offer here at TrackMaps uh, to print your chart on waterproof and tearproof paper. Uh, we ship it uh, to your door uh, using UPS or Canada Post um, and some other couriers from time to time. Um, shipping is usually the same day uh, but sometimes it'll go to the next uh, business day. Uh, you, you get it pretty quickly, uh, about one to three days for most uh, areas in the U.S. and Canada. 
Um, so if that is something you're interested in, I'll show you how to create um, or how to take this uh, chart, send it to us um, for, uh, for us to print it. So to do so, you'll go to trackmaps.com and I'll provide a link in the description uh, below. We'll go to products and printed maps. I'll scroll down a bit to uh, NOAA charts. I'll click on that. And here you'll see an option to have your uh, chart printed. So I'll click on that, print your chart. Once we arrive here, you'll see that there are um, options for the dimensions. So I'll just make sure that I select the dimensions that I chose earlier on. Once that's done, I'll specify the file name here that I copied earlier. I'll select this box and I'll click Add to Cart. Once it's been added to cart, I'll um, check out and I'll receive a receipt. And this receipt, it'll be um, an email that is sent to, uh, to you. Uh, next, the last option I need to do is to respond to that email, uh, the receipt and basically include the PDF in that receipt. Uh, once we receive that, um, we'll be able to print it the same day or, or uh, possibly the next business day and we'll get that shipped out to you. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you have any uh, questions or concerns, uh, please feel free to comment below or you can also uh, contact us info at trackmaps.com or you can uh, check us out on our website and our live chat. Thank you. Thank you.